next matchup of the evening, a middleweight clash between uh, Francis Javier Jorge of Spain. And uh, he is up against Rob Powdrill of Australia. Powdrill, extremely experienced, a very hard man as well. An icy stare when uh, you meet him in the corridor, the WMF world champion. Now, this is one that on paper looks very strong for Australia and could just ignite the comeback that they need. Remember, could just ignite the comeback that they need. Remember, they are two down on the night so far, having lost it at the lightweight and indeed the welterweight. These men, 80 kilograms, the middleweights. And then, of course, after okay, this, we'll go to the, the women, the bantamweight the women, for a double Tonight, point matchup. The third combat, the third fight between Spain and Australia. Let's have a little look at a video of Spain's representative, Francis Javier Jorge. I'm a personal trainer, personal monitor deportivo. Después, también tengo mi pues, mi título de vigilante de seguridad. Y todo mejor, mucho tiempo de mi vida para dedicarla ¿no? de lleno al entrenamiento, pudiendo pues, estar más con la familia, con mi mujer. Y bueno, es un poco sacrificado, pero al final vale la pena. Pues mi rival físicamente se ve un portento físico, ¿no? que está fuerte. Llevo dos meses trabajando duro para pa, pa hacer el trabajo que tengo que, que a ver si me sale bien. Y bueno, para eso estamos preparados. Here he is in the middleweight. Born in 86, he's won 39 fights. Eight through knockouts, lost just one and drawn three. He's 185 in height and just under 80 kilos in the middleweight from Tenerife, from Tenerife, Francis Javier Jorge. Now to a very warm applause. The middleweight for Spain, Francis Javier Jorge makes up. What is a very short walk out to this circle. Enjoying his moment, and he has quite a matchup. In my opinion, probably the toughest fight of the night for Jorge. We'll be up against Australia's option for tonight, which is Rob Powdrill. Let's have a look at a video about Rob. I always think about like uh, you know quitting or retiring one day or whatever. I know I couldn't do it now just because I just it'd be, always be on the back of my mind like how far I could have gone or what what else could have come from it. I love the rules you get to. I don't really like the ground game in the MMA, so um, the fact that we can just punch, kick, and throw in a suplex slam or something like that works good for me. I don't think too much into my opponent. I'm pretty confident in my abilities. I pretty much think I can beat anyone until they prove me otherwise. Here he is, middleweight, 186 in height, just under 80 kilos. He's won 47 fights, lost just 12, drawn to 30 years old, representing Australia. I give you, for the circle, Rob Powdrill. And here's a man who just loves the occasion. Rob Powdrill lives for these moments. Hard to imagine him doing any other profession. Rob Powdrill is a in powerful the man. Circle. Big, thick legs on him. A real athlete as well. Trains extremely hard. 47 wins now. Jorge, of course, 39 wins. But what's interesting, just eight by knockout, Jorge. But somehow he manages to squeeze out the wins. He's only lost once, the Spaniard. While as Rob Powdrill has lost 12 times. But a WMF world champion. Yeah, the record of Jorge, really, really impressive, uh, comes to this with just that one loss. What's he going to do tonight against a really tough opponent in powder? So here we go, three three-minute rounds. In the blue gloves, it's Spain's Francis Javier Jorge up against Rob Powdrill from Australia. In the whites, we're underway. The middleweight clash, the final men's one of the evening in this Spain versus Australia preliminary battle.
Right, well, right from the get-go, you can see both men trying to impose themselves on each other. Power drill came under a bit of pressure there from Jorge. Jorge got a lot of skills, very, very agile. Power drill really looking a little bit lumpen here as he takes shots, a good left and a good right hand. And Power drill taking some big hits there from Jorge. Good hands from the Spaniard. And Power drill goes down on one knee, manages to get back up. Actually, could be technically a knockdown there. Jorge comes to do business. And actually, Power drill struggling to uh, really get struggling to uh, really get the crosshairs on Jorge. Pace has settled down a bit, but uh, power drill, I've got just a little bit uh, under pressure here. Well, from what he was saying before the fight, he really felt extremely confident he could take anybody out, but, well, the natural of the two, Francis Jorge, look at that, a beautiful striker, and a power drill seems... Oh, a little pensive at the moment, to say the least. Well, we're seeing the high kick there, followed up by the left-right combination. And Jorge really, really has the skill sets here. We're looking at uh, really a classic case of the, mat the Matador juxtaposing the ball here. You can see Powdrill wants to get in close and lay some big, heavy hands on Jorge. But Jorge's got the skill. Slips under that lead left hand of Powdrill and uh, manages to counter very well. Sneaky little kick there, the low kick from Powdrill. Just taking the left lead leg out of Jorge. So they're both having just a little feel around here, but Jorge, oh, not frightened in coming forward, comes in behind the knee and putting power drill under pressure. I just wonder whether the uh, WMF uh, world champion is just a little past his best. He seems slow and sluggish out there compared to Javier Jorge, who is lightning quick at times, but a, a great right hand there from the Australians. Straight left there from Jorge, comes in through the guard. Big overhand right. Saw that coming all the way. So Power Drill not able to use the power that he's got. And uh, Jorge boxing very clever here. Moving in, moving out. And what he's doing that's uh, really of note here is just slipping under that lead left of Power Drill. For such a tall fighter to get in underneath that guard that's extra special and that's what Jorge has thundering straight left as well straight through the guard and as I say and as you say making power drill looking just a little lumpen here well uh, it was power drill who was dancing in the middle of the circle waiting to get it started and it, it sure was him who danced out again quickest uh, that was a much tougher round than I think Rob power drill from Australia thought he was going to get from this man well, Francis uh, Javier Jorge on the other side of the circle there. He just danced around. He had wonderful movement. It was a spectacular start from Jorge. Jorge really was looking to come under pressure from Powdrill. Powdrill wanted to impose himself, be very physical, use those heavy hands a lot. Jorge, well, great skill sets here, great movement, great agility, and the hands. Just reminds you that uh, there's only so much you can gain in the gym. Natural talent, speed and coordination. Well, so much of that is a gift. On with round two. Francis Javier Jorge of Spain in the blue gloves. Up against Rob Powdrill of Australia in this middleweight clash. And Powdrill, well, he's back out charging away. The Matador has his work again. Well, the middleweight, the heaviest weights in this contest. And you can see the power and the pace has really moved up here. Jorge has the skill sets, he really does. This round is going to be decisive, and Jorge starting to impose himself. Power drill, having to step back and take those shots. Doesn't want to rush in, getting picked off with the left hand. Looking for the spinning back fist there, doesn't land it. But that was a good right hand, and he catches his man again. Well, that is what Power drill has got in his arsenal. Stacks of power. With uh, the one punch, so combinations and following up, just a little lackluster. Good right hand there from Power Drill on the inside. If he composes himself, he could get back into this. But uh, first round, I have to say, had to be in favour of Jorge. So the Spanish team absolutely sailing away with this. And off point there, spinning back fist way off. 
Something I've noticed that, that is very true of the circle is it's non-stop action at the moment for three minutes. There's no hanging against the corner and, and being pushed back out again by the referees and hanging on, it's just the corner and, and being pushed back out again by the referees and hanging on. It's really non-stop action here. Absolutely. It's been relentless, but trying to slow the pace, trying to find some purchase in terms of the pressure that Jorge is bringing to this. How drill is standing off his man and uh, trying to work from the outside. But Jorge really working away, finding the shots, and not frightened to bring the action. Almost a little smile across Jorge's face there. He, well, that was second-class post, wasn't it, Manders? That was so slow, so obvious. Absolutely. And Jorge sees it coming and gets underneath it. And as I say, spectacular skill for such a tall man. Starts to bang his own shots in there unanswered. Asking Power Drill to keep the shots up above the belt. Jorge not worried by it, but uh, it continues. Now, this is the bout that really is crucial for Australia to get back into this. Spain with a two-bout lead coming into this now. And just look at Jorge. He's in control here. Slips the punches beautifully. Lovely reactions there from the Spaniard in blue. Powdrill knows he's got to try and win this round to somehow keep the third round alive. He was soundly beaten in the first round. So just right. coming onto the 10 second clapper. And Powdrill, well, not looking particularly fresh. Jorge looking purposeful. There's the 10 second, cla 10 second clapper away. Who will finish strongly here? We know the bulk of the round has gone to Jorge. It's been a bit of a disappointing outing for Power Drill. I have to say, earlier on in the day we spoke to Power Drill, and, and you know, that's a long flight in from Australia. We've got hot conditions here, and um, maybe he just hasn't acclimatized or got into the swing of things here. What do you think, Colin? I mean, it's just interesting the way he just kept plowing forward, often leading with what looked like his face rather than anything else. It was so easy to tag Power Drill and Javier or dancing around in the counter-attack. I mean, he was smiling at points in that bout. And I think that almost egged Power Drill on more and made him all the easier to tag. And, well, with one more round to go, I imagine Power Drill, who, well, he lives for this kind of thing, he, he's going to come out like a ball this time, no doubt. If you remember the first round, Power Drill tried to really impose himself. But Jorge outboxed him. And uh, we nearly saw a down. So right from the get-go, Power Drill was on the back foot. Well, our Warriors back out for the final three-minute round of uh, three rounds yeah, to decide this middleweight clash. Rob Powdrill in the white gloves. This is Javier Jorge of Spain in blue. And, uh, well, he's starting to feel like he's on the cusp of making this 3-0 on the night for Spain. But can Powdrill, with that power, get through? Well, there's a lot resting on the shoulders of Powdrill here, but uh, I don't know whether he's got the skill sets against Jorge. I think Jorge could finish this early, and uh, we saw a stoppage due to TKO, but I think Jorge's got the punching capability to get an early shower, almost for both men here. Look at Powdrill searching to put the big power shot in, but in doing so, he leaves himself exposed. Uh, I mean, interestingly, I mean, Jorge's record, it would disagree, only one loss 39 wins, but only eight knockouts, which tends to mean he, he likes to sit back and counter punch. He's just not that aggressive, is he? He's happy to, to tag along here and probably win 10 9 again in this round. Well, we saw a crisp little right hook there. He's catching Powdrill here. Powdrill's dropped the guard. He's not defending himself well here. Oh, hey, if he has the power and finds the right shot, we could see someone kissing canvas. No risk aversion at the moment by Jorge. He's trying to keep himself out of trouble here. No doubt, uh, hoping Powdrill in the final minute and a half of this final round will fatigue. Well, Jorge starting to look a little bit tired now. Gets caught with the right hand. Powdrill blowing. Can Powdrill land a big shot here and uh, remove the judges from the equation? That was... Uh, we don't know whether it was a low strike. It seems to be. Referee Yuk Abida is giving him... The full value to recover, clocks off, and Powdrill yet complaining of the low strike. 
It definitely went up in between his legs there. He didn't mean it. Powdrill just kept plowing forward and almost brought it on himself. Well, we saw some good solid connections there, including the spinning back fist there from Powdrill. But uh, with just over 40 seconds left in this third and final round, for Powdrill, it's over 40 seconds left in this third and final round. For Powdrill, it's all or nothing. For Australia, seemingly all or nothing. Another win now for Spain will put them clearly ahead. Jorge knows this. He can stand off and just keep his man and work him off the counter. He's looking for the big one here, Powdrill. The Australian in the white gloves. He needs it. He's almost certainly two rounds down. He swings, he misses, but we know that Jorge's got a good chin. Just one loss in 39 fights. Oh, what a cracking left hook. Well, Powdrill just off the target. That was the elbow. That was the elbow. And so an unintentional strike coming off the back fist. There's the knee strike. Will it advantage Powdrill? On the clock now, Powdrill chasing to finish but getting tagged. Jorge has evaded him. He's outboxed his man here tonight. And that was a powerful display of kickboxing skills. Powdrill has got to accept that he was beaten by the better man on tonight. And seemingly Spain take another win. My goodness me, we'll have to wait for the judges' decisions. Well, I think you'd be running east looking for a sunset if you thought that Australia had taken that. But what a performance from Jorge. It was well thought out, joined up. A great, great exhibition of kickboxing here in the circle. Yeah, I like the sportsmanship at the end there. Powdrill, who's talked some tough talk all week, straight away gave Jorge the hug, the respect he deserved. And that no doubt after this. I mean, it really was a punishing few rounds. Just getting the judges' decision. Sick elite for the Australian. And if Jorge does this, Spain will be 3-0 up and they will win the preliminaries. So the official verdict about to be announced. I don't think there's going to be any surprises here, Colin. It's gone very quiet here in the hall. It would be a real shock if uh, Jorge were to lose this. I think Powdrill, you can see the body language, he knows. On point is for Spain, Francis Javier Jorge. There you go, your middleweight champion between Spain and Australia, Francis Javier Jorge. Magnificent. 3 0 to Spain. What an absolutely fantastic feat for Spain to pull the third win out like that. Three on the trot against an incredibly tough team. This is absolutely amazing. It's groundbreaking. You can see from the replay, Jorge was never in doubt of losing this. And just look at the aggression and the power that the Australian brought. Powdrill really came to sort his man out early doors with big power shots, but he was off target most of the time. And Jorge just handled him, as I said, the Matador, the Matador juxtaposing the ball here. What a performance from the Spaniard, Jorge. Yes, indeed. And uh, take your hat off to Poundrill. He fought as hard as he could. He fought his game, but was beaten by the better man. We now await the women next. And that'll be Eva Naranjo for Spain and Sam Brown.